About two years ago, I went to this party in New York City, and it was seeing some of my old high school friends. Now, at the time, I was about 28 years old, and I hadn't seen most of these kids since high school, so really since 17, 18 years old. And we walked up to this apartment in Brooklyn, and we knocked on the door, and I was with two other friends from high school. We were meeting all friends from high school, and the guy there shook two people's hands, the guys in front of me, and then when he got to me, he said, hi, what's your name? And this was a guy that I'd hung out with a lot in high school, and he didn't recognize me because my physical appearance had changed so much. Now, for me, part of that was deliberate. I had reinvented myself dramatically from 18 until 28, and that was because I was nothing to be proud of, to be honest. Now, in this video, I want to share a little bit about what I did to reinvent myself. And if you maybe aren't on the right trajectory you want to be on in your life, what you can do to actually change that starting today. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master the Day and Milk the Pigeon. Now what my friend didn't recognize that day was that, first of all, it was physical, right? He was used to me being this short little skinny kid that got bullied a lot in high school. I'm six foot two now, I'm not really that skinny anymore, still on the thin side, but 50 pounds heavier than I am naturally, because I was like a stick. Now what I also reinvented was the way I carry myself, the way I speak in terms of my conversational skills, not my actual voice but also the way I just relate to people and the way I actually feel confident about myself, which is then projected when people talk to me. And you know, when I was young, what really drove me a lot was the fact that there was a lot of stuff about my physical image that I wasn't comfortable and happy with. I hated looking young. I hated looking more like a boy than a man. I hated seeming, because I was so small, very non-dominant. I hated, basically all these were all traits associated with being a dork and not being like a dominant male, which basically our modern culture idolizes quite a lot as like the prototypical alpha male, right? So part of that was that was how I wanted to reinvent myself. But it was also deeper than that. When I realized that, you know, I, you know, the biggest pain for me as a kid was in dating. But for me, I wanted, just like every person wants, that 10 out of 10 woman, but I wasn't the 10 out of 10 man. So that's why that whole story of me becoming the ultimate dude came to be. And I've shared that in recent videos. But in this video, I wanted to stay practical. So if what I do is, what I started to do to reinvent myself was of the all the various categories of my life I needed to reinvent. Fitness, my style, my conversational skills and being more interesting, going after what I was passionate about, travel. I picked three things, so three domains of life with three goals, one habit for each, so one habit, one habit, one habit, and then I put them on one piece of paper. That is my three, three, one rule for reinventing yourself. So the first part of this three, three, one rule is coming up with what your three core goals are gonna be for the year. Now for me, I'm no longer a huge believer in setting actual goals, but in setting directions you wanna move in. Because if you know a direction, you can constantly every way chip away at it. Whereas choosing a goal, you don't always know the timeline it's gonna take. So for me, when I first kind of solidified this rule, the first thing I did was pick my three goals, which were to gain 20 pounds, to figure out what I was most passionate about and go after it, and also to make new friends because I wanted to have more ambitious friends. I had moved recently back from China. I didn't know anybody where I was living. So I picked those three goals, gain 20 pounds, start going after what I'm most passionate about, and make new friends that were fun and ambitious. The second step there was to actually turn around and break each goal into one habit. So what that looked like for gaining 20 pounds was all I was going to do for the next three years was track how much I ate on a daily basis. Because I knew that if my goal was to gain weight progressively, I was in no rush, I would have to eat a little bit more or change what I ate. And so I found that just by tracking the calories, I suddenly would be like, oh, you know, I need to have two or 300 more. By trying to find my passion, the ultimate goal or the daily ritual, the habit to get there what I ended up doing was dedicating a two hour block at the end of the night, which was, what am I most passionate about? How can I test it? Who do I have to meet? What do I need to try out? And then the third part here was to actually go out to an event per week, meet one person that I thought was cool or I might have a connection with, and then invite them out for drinks or for dinner. And that was the way that I figured, what is the one habit I could do to make tons of friends that I could do anywhere in the world? Pick one thing and focus on it. So I had my three habits, I had my three goals, and I put them on one piece of paper. 
And you can do something as simple as this for your third step. For me, I've actually shared that. If you've bought my book, Master of the Day, you've gotten the book bonus resources, which have my daily envisioning checklist, the core rituals, the core habits, the action steps, quarter by quarter. That is also, I've included down below. But the key thing is, it's simple, three goals. It's clear, one habit for each goal. Only three habits you look at on a daily basis, three things. And from there, you know exactly what you have to do because it's on one piece of paper that you review daily. And mine is actually right there on my desk. You can't see it, but it's right there. Now, the other way you can do it is I actually am a big fan of keeping a goal card in my phone. So in the back of my phone case, I will actually have the goal card stuffed in there. And I've showed it many times before, either as that, as a laminated little card you keep in your pocket at all times, or as just something you have on your desk that you look at twice per day. So I hope that helps a little bit about clarity on how to reinvent yourself, what to really focus on, my story doing that. And honestly, if there's something you don't like about your life, it can change and you should change it. Obviously, we should accept the things we don't like, but if you can change it, why not accept it and change it? I mean, that's always been my personal philosophy. So before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, what is something that you really wanna reinvent about yourself? Hey guys, it's Alex. I hope you liked this video. The best way to stay in touch is to grab that free guide, Five Daily Habits to Help You Lose Your Next 20 to 30 Pounds, on my site and in the description there below. Click the monk to subscribe or check out that last video. And if you like my tiny daily habits approach to not only losing weight and getting fitter, but having more holistic success in your life, check out my book called Master of the Day, either in the description or on Amazon. And if you send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com, I'll send you a two-hour bonus video course for free.